Hey guys, good morning. It's Callie. How are you guys doing this week? I'm back with another weekly update and I have an auction haul and some art. I also have a teeny tiny like Amazon Walmart haul that I saved to show you guys because I know how much you love that stuff. Um, I've been a busy girl this week and I'm looking forward to kind of chilling out for the rest of the week. But um, my youngest daughter came over with my granddaughter Cammie again and we did a little girl time bonding. And what else did I do? I started our November page for the Gypsy and the Witch. Uh, I've finally started that. I'm a little behind. I would have been further along by now. So I need to, that's what I'll do this week. So I'm looking forward to that and loving everybody over at that group on Facebook. And I did, I might as well show you guys. For those of you who haven't already seen this, I did do, I'll link it below, I did another uh, junk drawer assemblage collage and my junk drawer was to the point of overflowing again. So I took uh, a birthday card that I had gotten and put this together. So if you haven't yet seen it, check it out. And I'm still, still learning to how to edit and things like that, but... It's going to be cool. I'm I'm already seeing progress from my earlier videos to now. So, you know, at least they're not an hour and a half anymore, you know. <laughs> but so that was good. And what else? I did my uh, kombucha decanting. So I went to day 12, I think. I let it ferment all the way to day 12. And I wound up getting some bottles on Amazon, which I'll show you the bottle. I love these. I got six of these because I wanted to see if I would like them or not, and I do. And they're heavy-duty glass bottles. So I got six of these on Amazon for uh, $19, I think, and the cap's locked down. So I used them to decant my kombucha in. And this is what it looks like. I brought it to the auction last night so Kat and Patty could taste it. Uh, they liked it. It tastes like sweet tea or a little bit like apple cider, kind of. It's, see that fizz? It does have a carbonation to it. Um, caution that if you're when you're just starting out with this stuff, it can be very upsetting to your stomach. So um, I got really nauseous the other morning when I drank a full glass, probably 8 to 10 ounces straight down on an empty stomach I got really really nauseous so I caution you <clears throat> excuse me to start out with a small dose like a shot glass size and build up from there but so far so good and I did send an invoice out to someone for uh, who wanted a SCOBY so um, I have a couple people waiting so as they come up it's gonna take me 10 days between batches so um, I have one that's going out, I think, if I don't hear back from the person uh, within the next three or four days, I'm going to go to the next person on the list, but I already, and I promised Cat one, and Patty wants one, and so I could see how this uh, can grow quickly, but I'm glad, I hope everyone has, you know, great benefits from it, so, other than the nausea, like I told you, I went a little overboard with the dose, but other than that, I have a second batch brewing, and I have a little SCOBY baby ready to be mailed out. So, excuse me while I drink some of my green juice. Someone asked me if I was still juicing. Yes, I've been juicing every day since September. <coughs> and now, as of November 1st, some of you may know, some of you may not, some of you don't care. Um, I did took a 30-day vegan challenge. And I'm so excited, and I'm so glad I did, and I've been doing great. Uh, Patty tried to slip me some shrimp last night in a little uh, egg roll at the auction, but I was on to her. I got them. Um, but I'm feeling great, and I'm loving this, and I'm not missing anything. If anything, you know, because I love to cook also, I'm trying out all these amazing recipes and just the simplest things are the most delicious. I think I mentioned to you last week that Tom and I had gone to a, maybe I didn't mention it. No, I didn't mention it. Yeah, this week Tom and I went to a, um, 
Well, I did a car vlog. I'm all over the place this morning. Hello, blah, blah. My daughter came over. I went to see my friend Ellen and Antoine. And Antoine's actually playing some music later on today that I'm going to go check out. But I went to see them. And while I did, I did a car vlog. And um, my second one. So what was my point? Oh, and also Tom and I went... We were looking for, we heard that there was a new Indian restaurant around, and we didn't find the Indian restaurant, but he did, Tom found this Thai restaurant, and it's kind of like tucked away, and just freaking amazing, amazing, amazing food. So while we were there, the menu basically was like an ingredient list for all the dishes that are on the menu, and if you guys like Thai food, and we had this one salad that was basically cabbage, uh, carrots, cabbage carrots, tomatoes, crushed peanuts, fresh lime juice, and like chili, you know, like for spice. Oh my God. So I'm going to try to recreate that recipe. And also yesterday I made some roasted Brussels sprouts with garlic and I, I posted a picture on Facebook and I got like so many people were like, oh my God, that looks amazing. It was, <coughs> excuse me. I was fine. Of course, until I sat down here. And now I have a tickle in my throat. So, anyway, that was good. All right, so I'm doing a 30-day vegan challenge. And after that, I'm just going to maintain being vegan. Uh, it's what I've wanted for so long. And this has been the perfect, you know, I've been building up to that. For those of you who know, I've been vegetarian since May. And then transitioning transitioning to veganism since September and now I could say I'm fully vegan and I'm going to continue um, on this path and I'm so excited and I feel amazing and I've been following um, High Carb Hannah and she has a group on Facebook called Raw Till Whenever which is like a takeoff on Raw Till 4 and I just I love it I love the group I love her I'm so inspired, and so um, I encourage anyone who's interested to check that group out as well on Facebook. And also, the other groups I'm in on Facebook have just been amazing. Again, Creative Arts Collaboration, A Life of Art and Self-Expression, Gypsy and the Witch, of course. And, yeah, I'm you know, I'm not a big active participant. And then, you, of course, there's Pinterest and Instagram. <coughs> Please excuse me. Oh my gosh, you guys. Wow. It's that time of the year, you know. Everybody's getting sick, and I was out at the auction last night. Oh, also, we saw, um, I saw American Horror Story. I'm loving this season. What do you guys think? <coughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to get jump right into these halls, I think. Later on this afternoon, we're going to go see some live music, support our friends, and they also have a dinner buffet, which will be interesting. I may eat prior, prior to going. Um, but you can always, you know, somebody always has mashed potatoes or something like that. So, <coughs> Wow. I hate to even post this with all my hack in here, but what are you going to do? This is where we keep it real each week, right? I love you guys so much. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, my. I love you guys. So, what else? That's it. I'm going to see live music. I'm going to, going to get some dinner. I'm continuing doing everything I've been doing. Hopefully, there's. I haven't started a journal. Uh, I'm going to give up the guilt. But I also showed some pictures this week on Facebook of... um like growing the ends of your celery and I have some lemon pits that have turned into lemon trees and I'm growing some scallions you know it's just so cute I have the perfect kitchen window and there's like a shelf in front of it I'll give you guys another uh, cottage tour I don't know when I did the last one but I'll keep them like a year apart so you can see the difference right all right I've talked enough about this and that let me show you what I got uh, at, on Amazon. I showed you the bottles. It's really nothing much at all. I wanted to get, though, that was the main thing. So this all came in the same box. Six bottles. I got some Sculpey Clay, black, and a little thing of white. 
Um, my fingers have been itching to get into some polymer clay. And many, many moons ago, months ago, I had bought a Versamark embossing stamp pad with the hopes of doing some embossing, which I've never done. And I love how that looks. So I finally broke down and bought some embossing powder. I'm such a geek. But this is holographic. So I'm looking forward to having fun with that. I still haven't used my um, those silks acryl acrylic glazes yet. So I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to, hopefully this week will be really just chill and I can um, just play. So that was it from Amazon. And then at Walmart, my favorite place to shop, not, although I have to admit their grocery prices are pretty cheap. I went with Tom. I have limited space here in my little cottage and I do have a very cool dish drain rack. That's like, um, it looks industrial. It's very simplistic. Um, it's like steel and just very simple. Well, it takes up counter space, you know, and that's something that I don't have a lot of. So for I put that away for months now, and I've been using just towels on my counter to dry my dishes when I wash my dishes. Well, Tom had picked up a um, dish mat. Like, I didn't even know these things existed, right? It's just a mat, and it's a a dish drying mat. Can you see that? Why can't we focus here? Whoa, there we go. It's a dish drying mat, extra large, and it's just real cush, so it's not going to break your glasses, and I could fold it up and slide it right on my counter now, so I don't have to use up my dish towels, and again, this isn't something I would normally spend money on, but I'll use this every day. I already have used it. I took it right out of the packaging, and... It's handy and it's practical and yes I could have made one and yes you can use your towels for free and I understand all that but every once in a while you just gotta even though I don't know I have a lot of things you know that so anyway also at Walmart they were having like 80% off Halloween stuff and you know I don't normally I can't tell you know I don't buy often new clothes I'm a big thrift store girl and things like that but 80% off, I figured these t-shirts I could use for sleeping, and they wound up being like two bucks. So I got this one, and it's just got a v-neck, simple black cotton t-shirt to sleep in, and this one, same deal, two bucks, and you know me. So I'm going to throw those in the wash and then I'll be using them for pajamas. And also, because when I made the assemblage collage, I can't tell you how much, well, I'll try to tell you how much glue I went through. I went through, oh my gosh, at least 20 glue sticks. I'm not exaggerating. Um, half a tube of E6000 copious amounts of Aileen's tacky glue so it was a glue intensive project so I just picked up a bag of glue sticks and I was tempted to get the big ones right because I hate changing them out all the time so maybe next time I'll get the big ones what do you guys use do you guys use these size these size or do you use the big ones anyway so that that's it from Walmart and um yeah, I did some grocery shopping this week. Always shop at the produce stand. I always go to ShopRite with my coupons. Um, I like to save more than I spend, and I was successful at that this week. I usually post my receipts on Facebook, too. I used to be way much more into it um, than I was with my diet changing. Um, obviously, things you get coupons for are not healthy things, usually. Um, I have gotten a couple almond milk coupons or uh, tofu coupons, but they're rare. But things that I pay little to no money for uh, always are shampoo, toothpaste, uh, paper products, toilet paper, paper towels, uh, things like that. I pay like, you know, cents to the dollar, if not free. Toothpaste is always free, um, things like that. So I am still couponing, but... I've scaled back. I do get um, eight inserts a week, 
um, we're friends with one of the owners of a local gas station and papers that get sent back for a refund. He saves uh, the inserts for and Tom picks them up for me. And so there's no expense for newspapers, which if I had to pay for them, it would cost me eight bucks a week. So thirty two dollars a week. But I wind up saving much more than that. But anyway, that's a that's a freebie. So I do still coupon. Um, but again, I've scaled way back and I just keep it strictly to the things, uh, cleaning supplies. Also, I get really cheap and laundry detergent. I will hold out until Tide, I love Tide and I hate to pay. Um, although I really need to start thinking about some more conscious alternatives, but for now, um, you know, I'll wait for a sale. I'll stock up on enough for six months, you know. And I'll wait for a sale on my coupons and get it, like, for next to nothing. So, it's worth it. How did I get off of my coupon rambling? Shopping, yeah. So, but mostly, lately especially, we've been spending our money at the produce stand, which is great. So, let me jump into the auction hall before this turns into another three-hour video. Uh, I'm going to do things in no particular order. Everything that I'm about to show you came to $16 last night and that's including a wonderful gift from my dear friend and sister Kat. Shout out to Kat. Shout out to Caitlin. Caitlin, got you girl. Um, yeah, Kat gifted me last night and she's such a sweetie bear. She's, I can't wait for her to try kombucha too. So anyway, uh, in no particular order, I got, and for anyone who knows me, I couldn't believe this. I was like, thank you universe. Anyone who knows me for any length of time knows that I have worn the same perfume oil since I'm 15 years old. It is patchouli oil, and people either love it or they hate it, but it is part of my being. It's seeped into my pores. I leave a trail of it wherever I go. People have said to me that they've walked into buildings hours later and asked if I were there. They could smell me. Um, I love it. Anyone who's gotten happy mail from me, um, and, and has wondered what that smell is. It's patchouli oil. I saw this at the auction last night. These are three bottles of brand new patchouli oil, 100% essential oil, and this is the exact oil that I buy at my local uh, store that's near the ashram, the Arati store. Shout out to the Arati store. Um, and I usually pay about $15 a bottle for these. So... I got these three, and I want to say, I don't know, everything that I'm going to show you came to $16, so it was maybe, it was between like a dollar and maybe three dollars, something like that, I can't remember, but three bottles of it, I was, I couldn't believe it, I was like, thank you, thank you universe, so patchouli oil, I'll show you what Kat gifted me. She, speaking of bottles and decanting and everything else, she knew, you know, uh, and those auction folk get in there before we do and they get to look around and see. So when I got there last night, she was like, look, look, look. And she pointed these out to me. These are kind of like the big brother and sister to the little bottles I just showed you, but hello, purple. And these are big guys and red. They're glass. They're heavy duty. You know, it's not that cheap wire. This metal here is, you know, good quality. It's like the same caps as the ones that I showed you. So I I didn't realize that she was going to gift these to me. She's freaking amazing. And I did bid on them. And they went up to like, I don't know, $13 or something, you know. And so I stopped. I'm not going to pay that, you know. And she kept going, and I realized what she was going to do, and she got them, and then she came walking up the aisle and handed them to me, and I almost started, you know, it's like, I'm so blessed. I say this all the time, but I really am so blessed. So thank you, Kat. You're amazing, and I love you, sister. Yeah, yeah, so those are super cool. Also, super cool, you guys, they had a new, it was a new estate that they got. They get new estates all the time, but... This one, oh, check this out. Still has the tags on it. Okay, it's copper. It's 100% copper from 
It says authentic old world design. Okay. Solid copperware. Are you kidding me? Anyone who knows me knows that I can't get enough of suns, moons, anything celestial. Okay. Winter solstice is coming soon with the return of the sun. So excited to get this, you guys. Are you kidding me? Hello. I think it was like a dollar, something like that, something insane. Okay, this next thing, you guys, speaking of still having the tags on it, and I went on their website this morning to try to price these, and I could not find one, this exact one, but I found similar items for $200 to $300, okay? This still has a tag on it. It is a, I don't know these names, a pair point witch ball. You guys know I love these. I collect these. I can't get enough of these. I I don't I wish you could see can you see the like tendrils inside? How freaking amazing is this, you guys? It's heavy, you know? When I got it last night, I didn't let it out of my hands. I put my finger through the top of it. And I just held it because I didn't want to set it down. It's just magical. And you guys know, in addition, you know, I physically clean these and then I psychically clear these. I clear them of any negativity. You know, I use sage, I use salt, I use whatever I need to do prior to incorporating these into my home. You know, you don't want anyone else's past baggage coming into your life. So, enough about that. Also... Okay, this is kind of cute, and it just kind of came with something else. Nick really liked this. I, you know, it's growing on me. I'm not a big fish girl. Like, you know, fish, that's swim in the sea. They're, they're fine and everything. But, like, I don't decorate with fish. But check this guy out. Oh, hang on. The little thing is here. Hello. Okay, he's like copper and glass and love these amazing gypsy dangles are you kidding me so oh and check this out look he's missing a fin he's missing a fin on this side he's like Nemo so really already you could see this guy's starting to grow on me you guys so unless Nick wants this I wish I could, there you go, put it up against white. Um, he might be flying in the bathroom or something. So, but that is not why I got, I didn't get what we got for him. I'll show you. I got it for this. And I have one hanging in my kitchen window right now that's blue with the sun on it. I used to also have another one with, I used to have a purple one with a crescent moon. Well, now I have a purple one with a hummingbird. These are, can you see that it's purple? These are recycled glass. I'll put it over in the sunlight. And, yeah, there you go. And this is the first time that I've had one with um, this metal hanging thing. This little embellishment. All my other ones don't. And it came, it was on this cord. And there's a little plastic uh, dragonfly hair clip on the cord so he was hanging from the fish so they were kind of hanging together and I just saw it from a distance and I didn't know what it was and I wanted it I'm like I need somehow I need that I must have it I'm gonna have a heck of a garage sale you guys that's all I have to say there's gonna be a heck of a garage sale coming up Okay, <clears throat> this next item came with something else. So many of you may like it. It may have even come from that pair point. They had a lot of glassware last night. They had a lot of, um, you know those, they're called cloches, glass bells. 
that you put over plants or fruit or I love them. They're huge. You know, some of them are big. They had those, but they, you know, it was like $500. Uh, I don't think so. But anyway, this, which I didn't look up. It didn't have a name on it, but it's a glass bell. And I like bells, but I'm not a fan of this. This is not my type of anything. But what I may do is put polymer clay over it. You know? Um... Ring the bell, open the book, light the candle. We'll see. The next thing I'm going to show you, I freaking love, and I told you guys I was able to clean off my deck. Um, I did a little more. It's like 99% done. But I've dragged everything inside, and I've yet to kind of repot and, and get things moved around. But one thing that I have a love of things with faces on them, and if you've been watching me for a while, you know that. But what I'm going to show you is a planter, and it's heavy, and look at this. You guys, is she frigging magnificent? How beautiful is that? I think. Now, some of you, see, it's a planter. Some of you may not like this. I just, I have a thing for faces and heads, and I just think it's wonderful. And can't you picture that with, you know, some kind of crazy ivy, or, you know, she'll kind of look like a beautiful Medusa spider plant, something coming out of her head, right? So I love this. Love, love, love this. And the next thing I'm going to show you, Tom was like, are you serious? Like, he didn't even want to bring this home. But I didn't bid on this initially, and then they were going to, they kind of throw stuff to the side that they're going to throw out. And I'm like, well, I'll take it, you know, for a dollar or whatever. I don't want this for the decoration. And again, some of you may think this is great. You know, I actually thought maybe I'll keep it. But I bought this for the actual wreath itself, which you could see is this heavy duty uh, grapevine. But it does have St. Nicholas attached to it. Okay, hello, hello. Um, I'm not going to be keeping him, but I will be keeping the wreath to repurpose and reuse. So, you guys, that is it for my haul. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. I love you all so much. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you haven't yet subscribed, I would love it if you do. I make videos very frequently. I love you guys. Have a beautiful week. Blessed be, and you'll see me very soon. Take care.